Welcome back to What's New. With nowhere to go, a lot of us are finding new hobbies to take up some of our time, like baking, crafting, working out, whatever the case may be. But you may have noticed there's a bit of social media boasting that sometimes goes along with the excitement about one of these new activities. Our Mike Polk looks at what some are calling the hobby humble brag. I know this whole global crisis has us all very stressed out right now, but have you taken the time to say to yourself, what is my social media presence saying about me during this global pandemic? Because this is no time to fall behind. And that is how you build a violin from scratch. We're not strangers to portraying a carefully curated representation of ourselves that portrays us in an unrealistically positive light. That's the American way. But during this crisis, people are really upping their game to make sure that you know they're being more productive than you are. One of the hardest things about teaching yourself Mandarin is learning the verb conjugation. Here's a little trick that I've learned. All of our timelines right now are littered with posts from friends and celebrities showing off their unique talents, baking perfect loaves of bread, and working out as if they're going to become a Navy SEAL as soon as this is all over. God! And I'll be honest, as someone like myself who is trying to promote and protect their brand during these trying times, it's been a real challenge to keep up with the advanced level of braggadocio that's on display right now. And done. Not my best work, obviously, um, but I mean, for 25 minutes, I think this is pretty impressive. Right now, if you want to display your superiority over everyone else online, you really got to take it to the next level. If you're just joining me, I've been working on a vaccine for COVID in my kitchen for the last week, and I think I might have just nailed it. It is a constant daily challenge, but I guess this is what we online braggers have been training for our whole lives. Were you looking for... <sighs> These? <laughs> My good friend David Blaine taught me that. I owe him a phone call. Everybody keeps saying we're all in this together, and that's true, but it's important to remind everybody that some of us are better at being in it together than everyone else. And unless I'm mistaken, that is checkmate. Not today, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Oh, no. Was one of my local Emmys in the shop the whole time? I don't know how, why this is even out. My niece was probably playing with it. I'll have my butler put it with the other ones. He's coming. This is Mike reporting for 3 News. I'm doing it better than anyone else. <laughs> You're absolutely right, Mike. You are doing it better than anyone else. And thanks for the daily belly laugh. You never let me down.